Well, what we have here eh, is a mess, actually. Uh, but specifically, Boland's ST160 Hydro. It did have a 16 horse Briggs opposed twin. And uh, let me just tell you a little something about it. <clears throat> when I got it, the owner said uh, the flywheel was probably bad because it would just make a noise when you hit the starter. So, well, is the starter bad? Is the, is the gear on the starter bad? No, no, not at all. There's the flywheel. Perfectly fine. And here's the starter. As you can see, not so perfectly fine. <clears throat> so I put a new starter in it. And all it wanted to do is backfire. Uh, so next step was check the flywheel key. It was not sheared. Put the flywheel back on. Tried it a little more. Still just backfires. So as you can see, out it came. Uh, I assumed that the backfiring was a sheer, because of a sheared flywheel key because of the bad timing, but clearly the timing was fine because the key was fine, so I don't know. I had spark in both plugs and whatever so out it came and actually upon further inspection um, see if I can get a shot of this <clears throat> I'll probably pour oil all over the floor again here the uh, bottom of the crankcase is cracked I think of course well there you can kind of see it right there it's cracked or something it's got a little bump in it and it's got these and on the bottom too or on this side at least so I think that's a hairline crack all the way through it right there you can just feel it it's sharp so <clears throat> good thing that I decided to pull it because I think it has issues. <clears throat> so that's that. The other lovely part about this is where the motor mounts are placed. The motor mounts There and there, the two front ones were sitting right on top of this axle. I mean, you could get a you could get a wrench on it, and I was able to get the motor out. Um, you know, I got them loose and got the nuts off because there's nuts on the top and the bolt through the bottom. <clears throat> so I pulled the engine out, but uh, the the bolts were just sitting in the in the in their holes still. They weren't dropping down below because of the frame or because of the axle. Sorry. So the axle had to come loose as well. So it's just kind of a funky design, <coughs> kind of a pain. Anyway, that's that. <coughs> this one is going in. I have to make a few adjustments. I take the oil, the oil drain plug. Because uh, the hole is right down there, right in the center of the screen. That's the drain hole, so got to put that plug on there. And you got to put the muffler on because it's a low profile. 
and I think that's it. Oh, and I think I'm going to replace the the bottom seal of this one. Um, I think it's I think it's a little leaky. As you can see, kind of see some wetness on that top of that pulley there. So I'm just going to replace the bottom crank seal uh, and then slap her in there. So that's what's going on. It's actually a pretty clean machine. Um, other than obviously the, the motor. You know, the hood is in really nice shape. The decals are in nice shape. And the wheels are clean, they're not rusty. The hours, I was surprised to see it had an hour meter. The hours read something like 140. Mm, no, maybe more like 275. The red is at 275 straight down. That's the, that's the shortest of the of the dials, and then the white ones at about 140, and then the yellow one is at well, that's that's just a a 10 minute interval thing that one spins the most I assume being the longest so maybe it's got about 275 280 I don't know or or 880 because it's a 600 yeah, 600 uh, 600 wheel there so <clears throat> it could be 800 850 whatever but for as clean as it is, I would think maybe more like two, even though it's a an 83 machine. So now that's that. Oh, it's also got a foot controlled hydro right there. It's kind of neat. You don't get too many foot control hydros back in 83, other than with the Bolins. I think uh, there's other Bolins that had them as well. Here's another new addition to the fleek the fleek the fleet I meant to say flock and got fleek <clears throat> uh, it's a geared regent 4211 and it's a bit of a pile pretty rusty With those small little wheels on it the wheels are all rusty and the back ones aren't as bad got these fun little lights back here Um, got the fancy chain lift for the blower, uh, but it runs. Got a deck and, uh, and a bagger for it as well. So that's what's going on here. I'm going to give you an update as uh, this motor comes together. Okay, well here's a long overdue update. This is actually going to be uh, in the second half of that Boland's uh, motor install. Um, it's been probably two months since I shot that video. So I'm just going to put this all together as one. But again, we got this uh, Boland's ST160 Hydro. I got the motor in. Um, I broke two tie rods. Put that one. And you can see a little shiny piece under there. Broke two of those because I had to take the axle off, as you know, to get the motor, new motor in. And um, moved it around several times and eventually broke both tie rods. So, that's nice. Um, after being under there and looking around, realized that the drive belt pulley was on backwards or something when I went to put the belt back on it just was not looking right I had to buy a new pulley that pulley was frozen actually that was that's the issue actually that pulley was frozen one of the the idler pulley underneath so I replaced that pulley and so it just seems one thing after another on this tractor uh, like I said uh, <clears throat> broke those tie rods had to replace that pulley um, Finally got the motor in here. 
got the wiring all fixed up. Now the motor that, that I put in had this uh, this type of um, regulator, I think is what it's called, right? A regulator. So I just kind of went with uh, the way the wiring was in the previous tractor. <clears throat> so this is what we have. She's in there now. I put a fuel shut off there. Exciting stuff. Uh, so I went, I had everything put together, went to put the deck on, and the belt was not tightening up. I couldn't figure out why. Turns out, the pulley over here is completely toast. Let's see, where is it? Underneath the underneath that shield, so clearly that guy lied to me when he said, "Oh, I used it last summer, and now the engine just started acting up." Yeah, I think not. <clears throat> so anyway, a lot of work on this thing. It finally seems to be good to go. Uh, I bought this. Uh, Twin, almost a twin. It's an ST180. I think it's a little newer. It's got a little different paint job. It's got these the side covers on. Where I don't have the side covers for this. Um, so I took the pulley off of there. Put it on the other one. <clears throat> this thing's got a little blower on it. A little Kohler motor. A little four horse Kohler. What did it say? K91? K911 maybe? If I shot the camera on there, it'd be good. It says a uh, serial number starts with 23. So I believe that's a 93, which is hard to believe looking at the paint, but uh, that's what I believe it to be. It is a Suburban, so. I guess I'm part of the Suburban Club. Maddie and Rooney, I'm with you now. So, yeah, this one is a peach. It's uh, got bad gas in both this tank and that tank. It's been sitting for years. It only has 475 hours, but clearly it's been sitting for a long time, so I'll have to mess with that. I got a, quickly, I got a few other units back here. Not sure how many we've seen here. This is a 4211. Pretty beat up, but it runs. 5216, it runs. Uh, it didn't run when I got it, but uh, just did a carb rebuild on it, and now it pumps fuel and runs. Got a Regent back there with a bagger. And I got a Craftsman with a bagger. So that's what's in inventory now. Of course, I got the Legacy XL and um, got the loader back on that. <clears throat> Simplicity Snowblower, 36 inch. Uh, another Simplicity Snowblower, oh, that's off of a, it's a Sunstar Snowblower. And I got a Sunstar Plow, too, back here somewhere. Not there. It's hiding under that meth somewhere. But I got a Sunstar snowblower and plow. For free, basically. I bought the whole unit, sold it for what I paid for it. So, I think that's about it for now. I just wanted a quick update. Oh, shoot. I probably should start this baby up real quick. Got about a minute left of memory here.
that's it. That is the final update on the ST160 and uh, everything else that's going on. So thanks for watching. Now it's long overdue, and uh, appreciate your support. Have a good one.